Modding Minecraft the easy way. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, Chad Johnson. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Over the past week, I have gotten at least four emails asking me how to install mods. And that makes a lot of sense because we've been doing a lot more mod spotlights recently. Most of you have complained that the other tutorials that you've seen haven't really helped you. So I'm gonna focus a little bit more on education in this video instead of just pure installing mods. If you've been watching OMG Craft for a while, you know that we've done a few mod install videos before. And when you start getting into installing mods, you may realize that there are multiple ways to modify Minecraft. There isn't just one single way. And some mods require you to install them in different ways. There's many different methods to change Minecraft. And here are three of the most popular. First is the manual way, where you download modified class files and change a whole bunch of files on your computer or use another app like Magic Launcher or Mod Loader to do it for you. Next is the easiest way to change your game. All you have to do is join a server that has already changed how Minecraft works. These servers are called bucket servers. And while you are not changing the files on your computer, you're just joining a normal server, these servers are running a modified version of the Minecraft server. Almost any server where the blocks act differently than in normal Minecraft, like the single player or creative world, is one of these bucket servers. And the way that I'm going to show you today, or the third way, is Forge. Forge is a modding platform, or API, that people will write mods for, and mods are written for Forge, always require Forge. They can't be used in any other way. Why am I going to show you how to install Forge and not any other way? Well, it's because Installing Forge mods is super simple. And because four out of the last five mods that I have shown off on OMG Craft have been Forge mods. Forge has become one of the most popular ways to change your client. First, you need to determine what type of mod that you want to install. Most mods nowadays are Forge, and if you're in doubt, all you have to do is look on the mod info page, be it on the Minecraft forums or the mods website, and it'll normally say Forge is required. So here is how you get started with Forge. So this is where you are going to start off your Forge expedition. This is minecraftforge.net. Up on this top row, there's files. Go ahead and click that. Here there are the different versions of Forge. You can either choose the latest build, which is you know, one that they have just worked on, probably a nightly build, or the recommended build. I suggest the recommended build because most mods will request the recommended build. Now, there are two different versions, 1.6.4 and 1.7.2, currently as we're recording this. Check your mod. If your mod requires 1.6.4, install that one. If it requires 1.7.2, use that one. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the installer and it's going to download a Java application. So I just downloaded the installer. If we double click that, uh, it will ask if it can open that and I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. And install client is what I want. Just to show you what this is going to be doing, let me go ahead and open up Minecraft. I haven't clicked install yet. And in my normal Minecraft launcher, I have different profiles. Right now, I only have one. This is the OMG Chad profile. I'm gonna go ahead and close Minecraft, then go over back to the Forge installer and click Install Client, click OK. And as long as you have the version of Minecraft that it asked for, this is 1.7.2, it will install the files you need. And it says successfully completed uh, the client profile for Forge. Go ahead and click OK and open up Minecraft. Yep. And now, in the profile window, you have two. You have one for your user and one for Forge. When you click this, it will prompt you to log back in because this uses Minecraft's true tokens. You're not using any other launcher, which is actually more secure than trying to use something like Magic Launcher or any other launcher. Over here, it will show you that it's going to use the Minecraft 1.7.2 Forge jar. Go ahead and click play and you are up and running with Forge. So now that you have Forge installed, you still don't have any mods installed. You want to modify Minecraft. That was the whole point. But now all we have ready to run is the API for mods to lay on top of. So let's go grab a mod. Just to test out, I'm going to use Flans mod, which includes a whole bunch of 
really cool airplanes and guns and all sorts of different things, and this is just for demonstration purposes. Every mod will have a different download area, but once you find the mod that you want, click to the download area, and I'm gonna download the current version of this mod. Boop. Once I have it downloaded, this is my downloads folder on my Mac, uh, it's right here, this is the Flans mod 1.7.2. Make sure these versions match, 1.7.2, 1.7.2. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and navigate to my Minecraft folder. That's in the percent app data percent, uh, roaming.minecraft if you're on the PC, or library, which is right here, application support and Minecraft on the Mac. Once you're here, Look for the mods folder. If there was, isn't one already, you may have to create it. Make sure this is all lowercase. Go ahead and double click into this, and I'm going to add the flans mod, which I just downloaded. All you have to do is move the file that you downloaded into this mods location, and you have modded Minecraft. Go back over to Minecraft, click play. If you wanna see what you have installed, click the mods button, and you can see that I have flans mod right here installed. If I jump over to a uh, single player world, this ship is actually on the Flans Mod website. It just looks really, really cool. And Flans Mod has tons of modifications. You can get vehicles, you can get planes and cars, and then also guns. This is a AK-47. You have to install different packs, so I have installed a few different packs. <laughs> There's a grenade. What's it gonna do? I don't know if I even, oh, there it goes. Oh, we've... we're blowing up the ship. I, I can hear some. Bogey's down here. Dango down! Dango down! Let's get rid of these guys! There we go! Woohoo! Blowing up the ship! <laughs> wow! Get out of here! Yeah! This is Flans Mod is awesome. So, I hope that has helped you in your modification Minecraft needs. One of the really, really cool parts of Forge is that you can layer mods on top of each other. So, if you want to do some sort of mini-map or hats or this Flans Mod, you can do all of that and just layer them on top of each other. That got really difficult if you were mo manually modifying your Minecraft files. If you want more tips and tricks, make sure that you subscribe to the show at twit.tv slash omgcraft or youtube.com slash omgcraft and comment below or send us email at mail at omgcraft.com for what you would like to see next. And if you want to follow my personal YouTube channel where I do Let's Plays and Vlogs, that's at youtube.com slash omgchat. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!